So it's a windy day and run forget about it. So I'm fly fishing and uh, for sea bass today. Whoa! Oh my god, what was that? in let it get down wow I don't know what that thing was they are tight to the pier and it sure is fun um, so I'm kind of just flicking it out no big deal as long as I get that whole sink portion in the water by the time it swings down to me it's on the bottom and that's where the sea bass are and you can see it's real windy out so I just let the wind take my line I don't have to do nothing it's actually really easy real easy fishing the whole key is you got to get the feel of your line and what it, what it does and whatnot but right now I'm kind of just letting getting that fly out and letting it kind of swing in drop it down deep and hope that a sea bass takes and we're just fly fishing for a sea bass today or whatever else Oh, that was a hit. Or whatever else grabs. There's a lot of puffers, so we'll be hitting them too. Hey, how are you? There we go. I know it was nuts out there. Yeah, it's not. It was, yeah, you had your boat out in there? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> at least. <laughs> this is a fly they've been grabbing. It's a gotcha, kind of crazy Charlie. Little Clouser, whatever you want to call it. All about the same. Stopped in here, and uh, there's been sea bass, so I figured let's see if we get some sea bass on the fly. We're getting these here sea bass on the fly. It's real windy out. That was actually over by the, the front. And it was wild. I checked that out. So I came here. It's really wild too. Um, I'm going to put on a bigger fly in a little bit. But I'm just kind of poking around seeing what's on the bottom. And I just... The least amount of line I want out of my reel. I'm not using it. So... So this way it's nice and neat. If you get something big, you know, your line's not all over the place. You don't have to worry about it getting wrapped around the railings. I think that was the bottom. It's just kind of fun right now. Just, uh, oh, I'm sure like that was a little puffer. This sea bass got big mouths and they're fairly aggressive. And you know, hook up with. But uh, I'm going to work this little fly. And we're just fly fishing for sea bass today, or whatever else bites, but these sea bass are around. And they're on the bottom, for sure. So, I'm making sure we get our fly down deep. And I am just using the crazy Charlie, or the gotcha. For now, I might use something bigger later on before the sun drops. But, uh, you can see it's an extremely crazy windy day. So, which is just fine. I just suggest using, make sure you get a sink tip line going. A sink and fly. This way it gets down and you don't have to do much casting when you're pier fish. Those are little, little blowfish. You don't have to do much casting when you're, you're, you're pier fly fishing. So you need not be any kind of an expert. But just let the line kind of work for you. That's what I do. Let's see if we get one here. Seems every time I've been running the camera, they don't want to bite. But they're just, most of the fish are going to be, there was a, probably, the puffers are in there pretty thick too. So, the best ones, when you fly slightly off the bottom and they kind of come up and grab it and run down with it, 
and that's when you get those solid hookups. Right now we're just having fun fly fishing here for these sea bass, pier fly fishing for sea bass. For sea bass today. And they are down there. To what degree, I don't know. He was deep. So, I'm greening out. <laughs> 